here and wanted to welcome you to this really quick tutorial on how to design a branded blog image with Canva. Um, Canva is a really awesome resource that I have grown to love. I honestly didn't know the sheer power of Canva and just the amount of different things that you can do. I mean, it is seriously a uh, force to be reckoned with. And one of the reasons that I love using Canva and that I hear a lot of other entrepreneurs and small business owners love using Canva is because it makes it so easy to design um, different images and just different different projects. You know, it just, it's really, really easy. So just wanted to show you in this tutorial how to design a branded blog image with Canva. Oh, and I'm so rude. I didn't introduce myself. I'm Kim George. I'm the founder of YourChicGeek.com. And if you want to connect with me on social media, I'm very active on Twitter at YourChicGeek81. So let's go ahead and get off into this really quickly. So what is Canva? Um, Canva is simply an online design platform that you can use to easily create stunning graphics for your blog, business, and your brand. I'm telling you, this platform is the business. It's super duper dope. Um, so some of the types of graphics that you can create with Canva are branded blog graphics. You can do social media covers, like for instance, if uh, you have a Facebook page, you can design a social, um, a Facebook uh, cover profile photo. Twitter, you can design a Twitter profile photo. I mean, it's it's just you can do so much with that. Um, infographics, if you're really into turning like maybe some of the content that you've written on your blog, for instance, if you have a blog into infographics, you can do that in Canva. Marketing graphics. I use Canva to design nearly everything that I do with marketing or as it relates to marketing. I mean, it's just that powerful. And then social media marketing graphics. I use Canva for all of the social media marketing graphics that I put out there and that I market um, on the different social media platforms that I am active on. And as an example, this is one of the branded blog graphics that I put together for the Your Chic Geek brand. This was created with Canva. And I think it looks really, really nice. You know, I mean, it was really, um, the one thing that I love about Canva is that, and this is probably the biggest reason that I use it is because first off, any graphic or any design that you create in Canva, you can create a template for that graphic, meaning that you don't have to start over and over and over each time that you create a graphic. So that to me is what really separates it from a lot of the other different design um, design softwares and all this other kind of stuff that's out there on the market. But anywho, this is one of the graphics that I created with Canva that I have uh, used for a, a branded uh, for a blog post. It's a branded blog image. And this is another example. All of the designs that you see here, I created these in Canva. So I'm telling you, <laughs> Canva is super dope and it does not take a lot of time to come up with something that looks really good and that you can be proud of, okay? So let's get into the demo really quickly. <clears throat> Excuse me, and I'm going to get into Canva and I'm just gonna show you really, really quickly how it works. So once you log into Canva, you're gonna see you know, all of these different design templates here. You're gonna see something for social media, for presentations, posters, Facebook covers, Facebook posts, all of this stuff. Um, this is what I love about it is because they have a huge selection of, they have a huge selection of different templates that you can use where there's already, you know, designs and things out there that you can just go and just kind of modify and make your own. So what I typically use is this 800 by 800 image to design the majority of my, of the images that I use for marketing and etc. And again, once I click on that social media image, it's going to bring me into the, the dashboard of Canva and it's going to show me all of the different layouts that I can use to design images from. So I'm just gonna scroll through and I'm gonna pick something that I think jumps out at me and I'm gonna brand it um, using my own brand. So here's something else that you wanna remember. As you start to use Canva, Whenever you start to hover over like these different designs, if you see something um, at the bottom of the design that has a little dollar sign, that's going to let you know that that is a paid graphic. Something in there is paid, um, something you have to pay for basically. So for instance, I'm clicking this 
and I see that this background image, I think, is what you have to pay for. And you'll, you'll know when you have to pay for something because it's going to have like these grid lines and all of this kinds of stuff on the background of it. Um, but yeah, this is an example of one of the images that you would have to pay for. So I don't want to use that one. I just want to find something that's free and um, just doctor it up. So let's see here. Let me see what inspires me. If I can find something really quickly here. Okay, let me keep looking. So as you can see, there's a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> a lot of stuff. I like this one, but looks like you have to pay for that one. This one is paid. Okay, this one is free, but I want something with a plain colored uh, background that we can design from. So, okay, here's one. It's a happy Valentine's Day. Here's one right here. I think this is really cute. Okay, so let's try to see what we can do with this one. First things first is, again, this is what I love about Canva. So once you click like on the outside of this image, you're gonna see a little menu that's gonna pop up with all of these different colors, okay? Now, what I would recommend is to find a resource or a tool that you can actually pull different color palettes from. Now, one of the resources, and I forgot to mention this, but one of the resources that I recommend for folks that have issues with finding color palettes is called Color palettes.net. Now why I love this is because if you find something for instance if we were if I wanted to use this this color palette 2978 okay I'm just gonna click on the color number and if I wanted to use these colors in this design the only thing that you have to do is come down here and copy or click on this number and it's going to copy this number and then what you can do is you can take that number and then you can pop back over uh oh you can pop back over to Canva and you can check or click to pick a color and then you can click the plus sign and then paste that number there. So you see what happened? It changed that color, which I think that looks really, really nice. <laughs> it changed that color from that uh, purple color to the blue. Okay. All right. So that's one color that we changed. Now for the second color, the same thing. I'm going to just pop back over here and I'm gonna copy the color code here, and then I'm gonna come back over here, and then I'm going to, let's see here, I'm gonna make sure that I select this second color, which is this, and I'm gonna change that, and I'm gonna change this to that, which I think that looks pretty nice, okay? And then I'm gonna use this color, so I'm just gonna copy this, and then I'm gonna come back over and change this color, click on this, click the plus sign and then paste that okay so there you go I think that looks really nice okay so that's done now to save the date I don't really want to keep this and I'm really not crazy about these little arrows and and all this other kind of stuff so I'm gonna remove these as well and I really don't I'm not crazy about this font so instead of using this siphon outline font, I'm just going to change this to, let's see here. I'm going to change this to, and this is what I love about Canva. They have a lot of different fonts and things in here that you can kind of play around with and just find something that you like. So one of my favorite fonts happens to be Lato, and that's L-A-T-O. So I'm going to find Lato, and I'm going to use that here, okay? Then I'm going to change the second font and I'm going to find Lato and I'm going to do heavy for this. Okay, now absolutely, I want to change this uh, first, you know, change this, you know, the top uh, word. So I'm going to do how to. So maybe I'll change this to, let's see, we we'll decrease this font size from 100 to maybe an 80. And then I'll change this, create branded graphics with Canva. Now, obviously, this is too big, so I'm going to highlight this, and I'm going to bring this size down to uh, 56. I'll bring this down to a 48. Okay, I think that looks okay. 
But what I can do and what I love about Canva is that I can kind of play around with the spacing and all of that good stuff. So I'll click here and go to text spacing. And as you can see here, you can adjust the letter spacing, which means you can do that. And then you can also adjust the letter height. So you can do that as well. Okay. So I'm going to leave that there. And I don't think that looks that bad. Okay, so we'll leave that there. And then I'm going to change these colors to reflect some of the branded colors that we have in here. Now, this is something else you want to remember. This is what I love about Canva is that anytime that you start to change the colors and you start putting your color codes and stuff in here, it's going to save that to your palette, as you can see. So that blue that we changed is there, the green is there, and the light blue is there. So if I wanted to use that dark blue again, I would just come here and click on that. And as you can see, that's changed. And then I think I'm going to make this uh, next color a light blue, which is here. Okay, so I think that actually doesn't look too bad. I think I'm going to bring this down, though, this just a little bit. And let's see here. Maybe we can make this, yeah. Nope, actually, 48. Okay, great. And then if you wanted to, you can definitely make this just a tad bit bigger. I think uh, 56 wasn't too, too bad. But that's the beauty in this. You can play around with this until you really get it to where you like it, okay? So then the last thing that I would do here to kind of actually, okay, I think that looks a little bit better. Okay, <laughs> all right, great. I think this doesn't look too, too, too bad. Uh, okay, great, I'm gonna just this a little bit more. Okay. Let's go here. Oops. I'm just kind of playing around with this. This is bothering me. This is what happens when you're like a type A personality <laughs> and you're playing around with design. Yeah. Okay, great. So this looks pretty good. So you can, you know, continue to kind of play around with this, but I think that looks okay. It doesn't look too bad. Okay, great. Now, the last thing that we want to do to brand this, and this is anytime that you're designing branded blog images, meaning that is something that you're going to be using in your blog post, you always want to make sure that you add the URL to the bottom of the image so that when you're, you know, marketing this image across social media and etc., people know where to go to get the additional information. They know who's created or they know who created the image. So I'm just going to add, um, I'm going to come over here and then I'm going to pop some text at the bottom. Okay. And then I'm just going to put my site or my URL. And then I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Actually, that's a little too big. So let's do that to 18. Okay, great. All right. And so there you go. You know, that's how easy it is to create a branded graphic using Canva. It didn't take long. I used a template that was already there, just changed up the colors, and that was it. Now, this is what I was uh, mentioning or what I mentioned earlier is that, if, for instance, I wanted to copy this image and use this as a template. The only thing you need to do is come over here to the right hand side and click copy this image. And then what you can do is you can go back in and you can hover over this image. Okay, you would hover over this image. And so, for instance, if you wanted to start changing some of the colors, you know, um, maybe you wanted to use this, you know, change that up a little bit, what I think, which I think that looks really, really nice, then this is another variation of the same image. And then you could just copy this again. And then maybe you would click on this and you could come over here and maybe you would do purple. Okay. So all of these are variations of this first image. Now, this is what I love about Canva. And then you can just go back in and you can just change out the text to reflect whatever it is that you want it to say. Okay, so this pretty much concludes this tutorial on how to create a branded blog image with Canva. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please share it with your friends and the peeps on social media. Okay, again, I'm Kim George, your Chic Geek, and I'm Audi. See you around. Cheers.